Stuart Cameron, storyteller, Sudburyan, who tells stories in many places. I like that one, and we don't have very much. I, I want to hear one more. Have you got a short one? <laughs> Stuart, have you got a short children's story, maybe? Uh, okay. Well, I can tell one about the, the teeny tiny woman. Why don't you do that? There was a teeny tiny woman who lived in a teeny tiny cottage on the side of a teeny tiny woods. Now, one day, this teeny tiny woman put on her teeny tiny bottom and went for a teeny tiny walk along the teeny tiny road. She crossed over a teeny tiny bridge and went through the teeny tiny forest. And then she saw a teeny tiny bone in the middle of the teeny tiny road. So she, she picked up the teeny tiny bone and said, that would make a nice soup for my teeny tiny supper. And she put it inside of her teeny tiny pocket. But as she was a teeny tiny bit tired, she decided to go back home again along the teeny tiny path and over the teeny tiny bridge and through the teeny tiny door of her teeny tiny cottage. And oh, she was so tired, she couldn't make the soup. So she took the teeny tiny bone and put it in the teeny tiny cupboard and closed the teeny tiny door and got undressed and crawled into her teeny tiny bed and went to sleep for a teeny tiny while. <laughs> Bless you. And she sneezed, and then she went to sleep for a teeny tiny while, but she had only been to sleep for a teeny tiny while when she heard this teeny tiny voice saying from the teeny tiny cupboard, Give me back my bone. Well, the teeny tiny woman was a teeny tiny bit scared, so she put her teeny tiny head a teeny tiny bit further within the teeny tiny covers and she went to sleep for a teeny tiny while. But she was only asleep for a teeny tiny while when she heard this teeny tiny voice from the teeny tiny cupboard saying a teeny tiny bit longer, louder, give me back my bone. Well, the teeny tiny woman was a teeny tiny bit scared, but she put her head a teeny tiny bit further within the teeny tiny covers and went to sleep for a teeny tiny while. But she was only asleep for a teeny tiny while when the teeny tiny voice from the teeny tiny cupboard said a teeny tiny bit louder, give me back my bone. It's on the shelf. Get it yourself. <laughs> there are many. Well, one thing about Stuart, he incorporates whatever natural phenomenon happened, and she sneezed. Thank you very much. We've been listening to Stuart Cameron, storyteller, and I certainly hope you come back again. I know that I'll be seeing you in, at the Northern Lights Festival Boreal and possibly at Club Boreal. Please invite me to any storytelling sessions that you have in Sudbury, and if I'm in town, I'll be glad to come. Well, thank you very much for having me. Any advice to the viewers if they want to be storytellers? Tell. Tell stories and call Stuart Cameron, and he'll tell you how to get in touch with all the people that are interested. That was sharing with you, someone from the community who is uh, doing a uh, storytelling which has had a great resurgence in communities all over the country, all over the world. Thanks very much, Stuart. Thank you once and again. And don't forget, on a spooky night, you can tell the tale of the teeny tiny woman that found the teeny tiny bone. See you next week. I'm your host, Asanya Dunn. Join me again and break a leg. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Everywhere I go, I'm gonna let it shine. Everywhere I go, I'm gonna let it shine. Everywhere I go, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine On everybody here I'm gonna let it shine On everybody there I'm gonna let it shine On everybody here I'm gonna let it shine Let it shine